Hello everybody, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting a strawberry today. Um, so the first step that you want to do is, um, or the first thing you want to do is trace a, like a rough shape of a strawberry using a pencil. And I'm just going to erase my pencil marks so that they're just visible to me, but they're not um, going to show through the watercolor when we paint it. I think I'm happy with that. Now, what we're going to be doing is um, basically starting with an orange and there's going to be like a pale reddish orange on the bottom of the, like the pointed tip of the strawberry as well as the top. So it's going to taper into orange and the center is going to be red. So that is what we need to know about the color scheme of the strawberry. Um, and then the technique itself, I'll get into that in a second. So you're going to pick up, again, that orange watercolor. And you can water it down so it's not um, super, super duper intense. And you're just going to paint the tip, like so. And once you have the tip painted, I'm gonna just go even closer here so you could see exactly what I'm doing. We're going to be creating these pockets, essentially. And these are going to resemble seeds. So, or the, they're supposed to represent the seeds, I mean. Um, so you can just kind of go along and it doesn't have to be super uniform, you can kind of dot around and create the seeds that way. You don't have to necessarily paint circles on top of one another. And once you have just kind of the tip done there, you can progress into a red because strawberries usually are this beautiful red color. So um, because the orange part is still wet, some of that red will blend in and um, create a really nice gradient. By the way, my nails are not dirty. I mean, they are dirty, but it's because I was uh, cleaning out my wood stove and all the creosote and ash got really wedged in there and no matter how many times I scrubbed my fingernails it just wouldn't come out so I'm just stuck with dirty looking fingernails for a while. Okay, so you're going to continue this process for a while but this is not the end of the road, I guess you could say. There's one other step that we're going to complete in just a moment that is going to really bring this strawberry to life. And once we get there, I will let you know what that is. And it's basically going to be a window around here and it's going to be, we're gonna be painting the glare um, or the reflection, kind of like that shiny, part um, of the strawberry and this is really going to make it come to life. Okay. Now as you move up the strawberry you can use what I call the lazy technique and you're kind of just moving your paintbrush around uh, with the hopes that it will create some white gaps but it's filling in a lot of space just to make the whole process a little bit faster. And because I have uh, a couple of different shades of red here, I am going to pick up a slightly more, um, I guess it has a little bit more of a, uh, like a magenta, 
hue. You don't have to do this at all. It, it's really not going to make any difference in your strawberry. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing because a lot of people tend to be really hung up on colors and the colors that I use. And I don't really talk about the colors I use because it doesn't matter. So once you get around here with your strawberry, we are going to paint a window, essentially. So it's going to be kind of in the shape of a rectangle, about uh, half the size of the width of the widest part of your strawberry, like this. And instead of doing that dotting pattern and like leaving white spaces, we're going to do the opposite. And instead, we're going to create red dots sort of like this and this is going to contrast with our other technique in such a way that it's going to make it look like this part of our strawberry is uh, has a glare on it and Right now it doesn't look that great, but as soon as we fill in the rest of it with our usual technique, it's going to really add that extra pizzazz to our strawberry. The other tip I would give you is to make sure that you uh, don't let that rectangle dry before you add the dots around it otherwise it'll be very obvious that they're that you painted on a rectangle Okay, so once you get to almost the very top of your strawberry, this is where you want to start transitioning your pigment back into the orange that you used at the bottom. And because your red pigment is still going to be wet, it'll, it, it should naturally uh, kind of fade into the, the red should naturally fade into the orange. And you can even, if you find that it's fading too much, you can even add a little bit of yellow at the very top and then the orange will fade into the yellow and it'll make it look a lot more complete. Now as you fade into the very top you almost want it to be a nude color because that is supposed to fade into like a very pale color before it starts turning green for the leaves. So you can uh, sort of pick up some of that pigment if you feel that you've gone a little bit too far. I feel like I've gone a little bit too far, which is why I am picking up my pigment. And that kind of faded color is sort of what the top should look like. Like so, okay? And now you can begin to paint kind of the, the little green top of your strawberry. 
So you'll want a nice bright green for this. If you have a, like a muted green, you can add a little bit of yellow. Um, I'm happy with that green. Any green you have will do, by the way, as I say in all of my videos. Uh, and you can begin to paint the little green tops. I'm just using my the same round brush that I used to paint the rest of the strawberry, but if you feel like you have more control, by all means, use a detail or liner brush. And you want the outer leaves to be curved, sort of in a moon shape. Because uh, you're viewing those leaves at a, a kind of a, on a side angle. Alright, and now you kind of want to fade that green into that pale color. So you can just pick up the pigment until it naturally fades into that pale area, sort of like it's doing right now. I, I, like, I like how that turned out. I'm just going to take a thinner liner brush and uh, just paint the stem of my strawberry. Now I'm going to add some highlights on my leaves, so or, or I guess shadows. Somebody pointed that out to me in a previous video. I don't really, when I get really into a painting, I don't think much what I'm saying. So sometimes when I say shadows, I mean highlights, and most of the time when I say highlights, I actually mean shadows or shading or... Um, the adjective doesn't matter that much, I think you get the point if you're adding a, another color somewhere then um, you're trying to achieve some sort of effect. So I am just using a darker green here and outlining the outer portions of my leaves because I want it to look like there is shading on the other side of the leaves because my, uh, my light source is coming from the top of the strawberry. The, yeah. And that's basically our strawberry. The key takeaways from the strawberry are to uh, keep in mind to keep the uh, bottom portion and the top portion this faded orange color to create this cavity uh, with intentional dots in contrast to the negative space that we're creating when we're creating our little circles to resemble seeds and then of course adding a really nice vibrant green top for our strawberries if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, like this video and of course as always i'll see you in the next tutorial